This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. All right, we're going to do this uniform motion problem, a rate, time, distance problem. It took Ling three hours to drive 132 miles. The second hour and a half, her average speed was 16 miles per hour less than the first hour and a half of the trip. How many miles did she drive the last hour and a half? All right, so what's the picture here? We know that Ling drove, and the picture always just about distance, right? It means she left somewhere and she drove 132 miles. Okay, so here she goes. She drives 132 miles. So we know that that's a total of 132 miles. But we know that her speed changed after an hour and a half, and in fact, it was less the second hour and a half. So she was going faster at the beginning, so maybe the first hour and a half she only got this far. We're not sure. So you can see there's a first part of the trip, and then there's a second part of the trip. So this is like the first hour and a half, how far she went, and then the, this would be the second hour and a half. So let's make up a chart now for her rate for the first half and the second half of the trip, and by that I mean in terms of time, not dis not the uh, distance, because it's the first half, if you're talking about distance, is just being in two, but we're talking the first half is part, of it, meaning the first hour and a half. So we have the first and the second half of, of the trip, basically, and she has a rate for each of them, and we're not given the rate. Right, but we are told that the second half was 16 miles per hour less than the first half, so that'll be useful. And then we've got the time and the distance. And remember, rate times time equals distance. So what do we know about the rate? Well, we know that if she went x the first half, she went x minus 16 the second half. Now, somebody may do this exactly the, a, a little bit differently. They might let the second half be x and then add 16 to the first half. That's up to you, but you have to put x in one of these places and then figure out what the other rate is. All right, what about the time on the first half? Well, that's the first hour and a half, right? She goes an hour and a half on the first part of the trip and another an hour and a half on the second part of the trip. So the distance, we multiply the rate times time. So we have x times 1.5, which is 1.5x, and we've got the second half of the trip, x minus 16 times 1.5, so that's really 1.5 times x minus 16, which can be simplified by distributing the 1.5. So we have 1.5 times x minus 1.5 times 16. All right, so we're not quite done. Let's simplify that just a little bit more. What is 1.5 times 16? Well, you can get out a calculator and do that. You can get out and do the multiplication with decimals, 1.5 times 16. You could think of this as 3 halves times 16. You could think, well, for the first hour, I mean, 1 times 16 is 16, and then half more is 8 more or 24. In any case, 1.5 times 16, you're going to get 24. Fractions is easy, by the way, because you could just do 3 halves times 16 if you don't have a calculator, and that's how you can get 24 using fractions. Okay, but you don't have to use fractions, um, so any of those weights. The point is, the second half of the trip, it's 1.5x minus 24. That's the distance. So for this first part of the distance, We've got 1.5x, that's that length, represents the distance on the first hour and a half of the trip. In the second hour and a half of the trip, this distance, we represent that by 1.5x minus 24. And now we're looking at the picture and seeing if we could write an equation from that. This one looks a little funny. You see that this piece plus this other piece should add up to 132. 
So that's what we want to write. The first piece, which is 1.5x, plus the second piece, 1.5x minus 24, equals the total distance, which is 132. So I could add like terms here on the left, which is going to be 1.5x plus 1.5x, 1.5 plus 1.5, that's just 3. So we have 3x minus 24. And then we can solve by adding 24 to both sides. And dividing by 3. So then you could do that calculation, 156 divided by 3 is going to be 52, so x is 52. Now what did x stand for? So we look back into the chart where we defined it. This is where you define it in this chart. x is 52, that's the rate the first half of the trip. So we're going to now write the information that I have there in another chart. So we've got the first and the second half, and we've got the rate. Now we know what to put in for the rates. So the x, the first half, is going to just be this 52 right there. The time was already 1.5. So I know I can get the distance for the first part of the trip by multiplying 52 times 1.5. So you can get out a calculator, you can do multiplication. Again, I do it this way. I think, well, for the first hour I would go 52, and then I only have a half hour, so half of that's 26. So I get 78, that's how I figure it out. But you can get a calculator out and do it a different way. Right, so in other words, that is 78. Now, what about the second half of the trip? What's the rate? Well, it's 16 miles per hour less, so if it was 52, you're going to have to do 52 minus 16, right? So that means her rate here is 16. And that's 1.5 as well. So we have 16 times, I'm sorry, not 16, 36. 36 times 1.5. Again, this is how I do it. I think, well, the first hour she went 36 miles. The next half hour she went half of that or 18. That's 54. But of course, of course, you can get the answer to that by um, just multiplying 52 times 1.5. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make this a little smaller to give me space. Okay. Now, what was the question? Well, it said she went on the first half of the trip for an hour and a half and the second half hour of the trip. And we now know, according to what we have right here, I think I drew that picture exactly backwards up there. I just realized she went faster the first half, so of course she's going further. So, I hmm, wonder if anyone noticed I wasn't making sense up there. And we know that this was, okay, let's go back up to the beginning, 132. So by the way, if you're going faster, of course, you're going to go more than half of the distance. Okay, that was some over here. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't really make sense. And that was 132. So the question is, does 78, here we go. So we went 78 for the first part, 54 for the second part. So does add up to 132 miles, and you could check that, 78 plus 54 does add up to 132 miles. So this chart does have the correct information because the picture all makes sense. So now we have to look at the question. How many miles did she drive the last hour and a half? Okay, so what we want is how far she drove on the second half of the trip. And that is right here. That's how far she drove the second half of the trip. 
So our last thing is to write our answer. Ling drove 54 miles. The second half of the trip. So keep in mind here, x was 52. That's not the answer to the problem. It did not ask for the speed for the first half or the speed the second half or the distance the first half. What it asked was how many miles she drove the second part of the trip. So make sure you answer the right question here. 54 looks kind of, there we go. And so that's our answer. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.